Excusez-moi. Excuse me. Ladies and gentlemen, MEPs, colleagues, T today my thoughts are with the Ukrainian people and I hope that all forms of cooperation will continue with that country. I would like to thank you for having invited me as a whistleblower. I would like today to talk to you about the experience that I have. Mr. Schwimmer has said that everything was going better according to the audit. We are doing better, everything, the reactors are doing are going better. But the question that needs to be asked is why is there a concern here? Why a recent why has there been a recent suicide attempt at Kadarash? Behind the images that are given of the project, the reality is very different. I was director of communications from 2011 to 2015. And then um, later on, I had a different position for a few more years. I know the project inside out. I'm convinced that this is an essential project. Nevertheless, the colleagues that I've met in Barcelona and Cadarac have talked to me one on one about the stress that they suffer on a daily basis, the omnipresent fear that they experience, the fear of losing their job, the fear of being displaced, or the fear of having to execute orders within the project. They're afraid of speak, speaking out. And what I'm going to tell you today is based on first-hand witnesses and publications. Everything is right here. In 40 years of my career, I've never seen what I've seen here in ITA. I've worked in research and media. I've worked in industry. I was a spokesperson for a European commissioner. I know what stress is. The colleagues at ITA, at Cadarache, and also in Barcelona, talk of a f defective decision-making process, an enormous political dimension of the project. And they also talk about the will of the people in the hierarchical structure of the organization to save face at all costs. And they found a political management within a scientific project. And this is what I've seen on the 28th of March, 2015. Mr. Bigot called me into, into his office and he said, we can't work together, you're going to have to leave. And then he ended my contract. I was then did, um, seconded to Fusion for Energy, but the situation continued and I was then recalled to Brussels. There are unacceptable defects con concerning staff and radiation protection. First, staff. How can you work in a calm manner, in a context where fear reigns, there are unfair um, dismissals, there are also people resigning one after the other, there's misinformation, and as I mentioned, there's a recent suicide attempt that happened in Kadarash. The reality is that ITER organization has imposed a fear-based management system which covers all different departments, all different agencies, and even the Fujian organizations and this covers the whole system. Fear has taken over rather than science and, it, and now it seems the same pro problems are happening in Barcelona. Everything is in fact connected together. Mr. Schremer said quite rightly that Fusion for Energy is separate from the ITER organization which is true in legal sense but the management of the project is done in a collective manner. In terms of radiation protection, because of errors in the design of the walls of the nuclear reactor building, the biological protection is 30% lower than it should be, and that, that is needed. And that's the French Nuclear Safety Authority that said that, not me. In its letter from 25th of January, the information that was transmitted showed that the, there is not sufficient protection from radiation, and this is a particularly important matter, uh, and I, the speaker is quoted from the document, says the interpreter. The situation is very serious. Did you know that the French Nuclear Safety uh, Agency had to stop the assembly of a reactor? The ASN, the Nuclear Safety Authority in France, s spoke to the ITER organization director and said the following, 
I do not authorize you to carry on with any action in this area. A review, an in-depth design review, needs to be carried out before you should, before you again request the continuation of work on this assembly. Did you know that one day of delay costs a million euros? That's what the management was saying five years ago. Did you know that the ITER management decided to make changes to the fire protection system? Uh, to save time, and did you know that the the head of the re reactor assembly project resigned because he'd been forced uh, to carry out actions that he was not in agreement with? Did you know that three staff members were sacked for having refused to install components that were a risk for handling staff, handling personnel? Did you know that Two international experts, you know, science experts, uh, sacked, and they are specialised in beryllium, um, because they were not, they did not wish to carry out the orders that they, were, they, they saw as risky. Did you know that the ASN declared publicly that the ITER organisation has a has many failures in a safety culture? And did you know that ITER continues to say in the press that the, the, the full cost of the project is 22 billion, when in fact 15 billion will be need to be will need to be injected before 2035? There are various different defects, as I've said. So what should we do? I have five proposals here. Request the European Commission, which is the main funder of ITER, to ensure that order is brought to ITER. Genuine governance is needed. I have some ideas and I'm happy, I'd be happy to tell you about them. It's important to also change the management of ITER and Fusion for Energy. Thirdly, carry out an independent expert audit on the functioning and operation of the project as well as personnel and staff management. That should be an independent audit. That means it should not be assigned to the fusion experts, uh, who, but they, of course, should be able to provide support to this. The Commission should also take an initiative to impose a, a, a criteria on ITER and Fusion for Energy, making sure that um, effective human resources management is put in place, and this should include the creation of a trade union at Cadarache. This also means that recruitment and promotion should be managed in a professional way because the real fuel for this project are the men and the women who work for it. The entire project must ensure that it acts in a way that is respectful of all of its staff and their expertise. And it's important to ensure that various different cultures can live by side by side in this vast project. Human resources is, in fact, the raw material of this project. ITER can never succeed if we don't, do not succeed in the matter of human resources. And finally, the European Union Commission should also ensure that, the, um, that ITER and their Fusion for Energy work hand in hand with the French Nuclear Safety Authority, ASN. It's important for all of these to be carried out, and I would like to thank you for your attention.